Now back here at home, there's a new law enforcement task force in action to try to stop what's being described as transnational gangs that have been on a burglary spree targeting high end homes for luxury goods and cash. Several members of these crime rings have been arrested, but others take their spot just as fast. And they've hit up to 40 houses in Oakland County, all the way to Gross Point Farms and in between. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked to law enforcement about how this ring of thieves is operating. So many people living in these high end neighborhoods are worried, beefing up their security systems, hoping they're not the next one hit. A little on edge. And another homeowner around the houses targeted says she's flat out scared. This is surveillance video from some of the homes burglarized by what Sheriff Michael Bouchard and other law enforcement officials describe as a ring of thieves from South America, burglarizing high end homes across the country and now here in Southeast Michigan. They're all in black, backpacks, face masks, loved up. This afternoon, the sheriff was joined by other police officials from across Metro Detroit to announce a newly formed task force aimed at tracking and taking down these crime rings that they believe are from Chile. The reason it's so important is because this group is so highly functional, they're well trained, and they're targeting our region and, and, and other uh, places across the country, but now we're very much in the crosshairs. Uh, my gut tells me the team that hits Friday is probably not the team that hits Saturday. Over the past weekend, five homes were hit. The sheriff and police departments across the area urging people to have several layers of security, and here's why. The guy to the right in the middle, that's a jammer. So he's jamming signals right now rendering a home's wireless system useless, and they're quick in and out with cash, jewelry, watches, and expensive handbags. It's super frustrating because they're in the wind so fast and so are people's valuables. You know, a lot of this stuff is being packed up in the boxes for shipping as they're driving away from your home. It is very frustrating because they may be gone before we even know. And, and if, the, if they did jam the alarm or if, if homeowners forget to set the alarms, that we, you know, we're, we're, we could be anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours behind them. They're coming into America by two different paths, the BWP program, the visa waiver program, or illegally across the southern border. The sheriff says this is not an argument on immigration. It's about keeping people and their property safe. We want anybody, you know, to have a better life. That, that, but people are coming to make victims in our country. That's what we're focused on. In Bloomfield Hills, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, a very scary situation there.